Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, girl on the ridge in her happy place. The perfect way to end a perfect day. I was outside up most of the day going through my pine branches, decorating the front of my house. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted some pictures and I'm just Lori Fusco on Instagram. And I'll put that below because sometimes I do put some stuff on there like that I might put in my Etsy. So, so I did come back with um. This is the the paper that I got from Walmart. It's the Pioneer Woman. This is the print that I picked. Um, she had probably three or five, six, maybe different um different ones. And I'm just gonna. These are some bags I made. And I'm just going to show you, this is nothing new, nothing that I, I think the first person I watched do this was Tracy Fox when she did it with music paper. And, um, I'm just going to kind of craft along with me. Just again, it's one of those reminder things that we forget to do, but there's some really pretty, um, paper out there. So I just took, um, and it's graphed on the back, so... Uh, if you're going to make an envelope, you might want to cover that with a piece of um, coffee dye paper or whatever. So I just took a piece and just fold it. And there's a lot of different ways to um, decorate these. You can do them simple, but I'm not, I'm, I'll show you a couple ways, but I'm not really decorating them yet because I don't know. Who I'm going to use them for because I'm not obviously I don't I'm assuming there's copyright so I'm not even thinking about selling them this is just for personal use and then you fold up the bottom and then unfold it and you just snip snip now this is the front so I'm going to cut the back off. And I, um, I have to tell you, oops, I think I'm going to sneeze in here. I would, I'll take Fabri-Tac any day over a uh, fresh pant pine sap. Oh my God, what a mess. And I even tried to, I had gloves on. I had my husband's old flannel coat on so I wouldn't get sap all over. And that is a mess. And just I think I did these last year. I did it with the, the ticking paper that I got from the red ticking. And then I just kind of and it's you know all different sizes. So this, this would make a really cute gift if you had different things for um, one person to wrap all them together. And then, let's see, this is the envelope I did. Again, I just did, um, I laid a piece of round paper and I put the wrapping paper on the back and sewed around it. And then I just used my pinking shears and just made an envelope. So this would really make a cute little set for somebody. And let's make it real small. Let's see how small we can get. Let's see. Oops, let's cut this off. I say every bone in my body aches because I don't I am so out of shape. Let's go like that. These grids are kind of nice. And See what size bag this will make. This is all guessing because I'm not. I don't measure. I just don't. Sometimes I do, but this is my happy time. End of the night. I didn't even have my hot chocolate because it was getting too late. Well, late nine o'clock. It's too late to have hot chocolate. I didn't plan that out very well. Yeah, that's all right.
and fold this up. And we'll cut that down a little. And this is again one of those stressless, stress free, easy crafts, but you, you feel like you accomplished something. Especially, you got to get it. Chances are you're going to give somebody a gift card anyway, so you might as well just make a bag for it. Let's glue this before I cut that. Today I made old fashioned meatloaf. I don't make that often. My husband always makes a face at it, but then when we go out to a restaurant and he orders meatloaf, I just want to choke him. And what is made with my meatloaf? But it's one of those things, I guess. It came out pretty good. I did get a lot of Christmas decorations up. I got one tree up. I got all my, even though I'm having Thanksgiving here, I got all my Christmas dishes out because yeah. I like it. So, and I don't want to be rushed December, right after Thanksgiving with, it takes me too long to decorate, so I don't want to be rushed. So that are, that would, make, that would be cute. So to break it up, what I would do is probably put a piece of, I don't want to, Cover up too many of the too much of the designs. Maybe put something like that, and then I have the, something like that. That was from Mimi's. Um, then you could nestle a little girl in there. Maybe music paper. That would be a cute little bag. And then, or you could do, let's see how gold would be. Not bad, kind of a different look with, I thought I had all these little people cut out. Oh, I had to cut those lines off. You know what? Let's plug in a little waxer. Let's see how it takes wax. to get a big snowstorm tomorrow already not even winter yet and I'm not feeling the gold even though well let's see no, it's pretty much the same now I'm not feeling the gold just not feeling it so how about we'll try pattern paper and hmm um, pattern paper let's ink her up well since this Quiet because I'm thinking. Sorry. Let's see if I put that there, that there. These are really great background papers. And this is the Femoirs little. Came out with another um, fussy cut elements. 
and pink. And I'm hoping to get to them this weekend or this week. Tomorrow the kids are off of school, so I'm babysitting all day. So I know I'm not going to get nothing done tomorrow. A tea party. I told my granddaughter we would have a tea party. Okay, let's see. Let's put a little glue on that. So we've got a little pattern paper. We've got a little... I'm not putting tons of glue on it because the wax will hold it down. Maybe. <laughs> I'm sure it will because this, even though the paper's a little waxy, the wrapping paper, I mean, worst comes to worst, I would have to clear gesso it. And if I have to do that, then that'll cut down on the amount I make. <laughs> oh, no, I just won't put wax on it. All right, let's cover it in, I'll do the white since I got it right here. It's kind of a lot. Okay. Now I know it'll work good on the stuff from Marshalls. Um, this ticking, the red one, because that doesn't have a waxy finish. Mm, not bad. I think we're good. I'm just wiggling the scissors back and forth so it doesn't dry the bag, or, you know, keep the bags together. Yeah. That's cute. Because it kind of just is transparent so you're not um, blocking the pattern. So that's a cute little bag. And then I would probably put whatever I'm going to put in, in it and then put two holes in it and then um, probably use just, uh, I kind of would probably, yeah, some twine because you've got so much color and everything else. And it's country. So yeah, that's cute. Okay, let's do, let's try, let's see. Oh, an envelope, again, an envelope is so easy. What side you want down, fold it up. Let's cut it to, Here, the grid really makes it easy, but because it's got the grid, you want to cover it. So, say we take all right, say we take that, and I'll make the envelope smaller. And then we 
just trim it up. And, you know, this is kind of, I'm just going to put another piece here. This is just kind of scrap paper from a, so it's kind of flimsy. So maybe I, I would um, just kind of double it up or something. Or I would maybe sew, sew it together because it is kind of thin where this, this stuff from Marshall's is definitely thicker. a little oof hot flash hot flash man and again this would be just a, like a gift card well I would make it a little straighter I'm just kind of seeing the different things I make and I can make and <clears throat> the extra steps I need as far as like the backing and and then same. Maybe put some trim on. The corner. And I should be using fabric tech, but I'm just playing. And we'll put that down. And we'll get some wax. I love it because when I show my niece all these little things, she looks at all the little things and, or she'll uh, feel the wax. I mean, she's in her 30s and she loves all this stuff. <clears throat> so that's just a cute little envelope. And then, I don't know what else I would do to it here. Let's see, what do I got? I kind of like... Off to one side. Yeah, because you can still see plenty. I mean, oh, I think these are we'll use one of these. Little girls. This is tailor made um, journals. Her, her prints are awesome. There are so many beautiful digi kits out there with these designers. It's like every day I see there's another one. Okay, let's get a little. Let's go with the paper again. Let's rough it up a little.
because I like my pink. I'll do another pink bow. And it'll kind of be a matching set. Just think of the endless possibilities of the gift wrap out there. Last year, I got some really, really pretty pink with splotches of gold in it. Oh, my God, they're so pretty. That was at Marshall's, too, so maybe they'll get that again. That was be That made some beautiful bags. And then since we got the wax out, we might as well wax it out. Because that's Christmassy. And then you could sew on these. Yeah, like that paper. And then like when I did that video with um, Mimi's um, journal, my grandson wants to make those little um, paper clips. And apparently they came from Doreen, ooh la la, vintage treasures. And um, that would be something cute to make a bag, have them make a bag, and then um, put those little paper clips in, especially for a teacher. So these would be really cute. If you, you know, it's just like I said, there's so many prints out there. So that would be a cute little sap. Alrighty, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night and play around, see what you can guys can come up with. With, um, like I said, just I just cut a bunch of squares and then I decide the sizes and stockpile it because you know when you need that last minute gift or something and you don't have gift wrapped or whatever it's um fun to pop it in a bag and go from there you can even make little journal covers Ooh, I didn't even think of that that could be that would be pretty uh oh okay that's next Alrighty, guys that's it for now and we'll see you soon have a happy Monday. Bye.